One question we get asked a lot is about running logic apps under Kubernetes, which is currently in preview. Microsoft have a technology called Azure Arc, which allows you to register Kubernetes clusters and manage them in one place, whether they are in Azure, in another cloud, or even on-premises. So being able to run logic apps on that sounds like a good idea, right? However, th there's more to it than that. So there might be some cases where this is a really good thing to do. For example, if you've already made an investment in Kubernetes clusters, then that might seem like a logical extension of what to do, particularly if you've assigned compute for that and you want to reuse that compute for no additional cost. The other thing is if you need to be running your workloads close to other resources, so for example, you don't have a fast network link to the cloud and you need to talk to applications there, then that can really make sense because you can spin up even a small Kubernetes cluster, have it remote at the edge, um, but still run the benefit of logic apps there. Similarly, there are other regulatory considerations. So a client of ours, for example, needs to be able to run with no internet connection for a predetermined period of time, which means that we can't rely always on having things in the cloud. However, if you've deployed to a local Kubernetes cluster from Azure Arc and that link gets severed, this will continue to run. So that meets the regulatory requirement. However, there's issues as well, because particularly this isn't currently generally available. So although this is in preview, you can't use this now for solutions that you're going to release straight away. It's great for the future. Great if you've already got an investment in Kubernetes, but Kubernetes is not a simple thing that you just decide to do on a whim. You need to plan that, plan that properly. We can help you with that. However, what we currently do for Logic Apps Standard Runtime is we'll put them on an app service hosting plan. Now, this has also got a lot of benefits. It's really easy to deploy because it's platform as a service. It looks after itself. It's easy to manage. You don't need to do anything. Azure looks after it for you. This is currently generally available, so you can deploy this to today and it's fully supported. And also it's cost effective, even at a very small scale. One of the things we've found with Kubernetes is if you've got big workloads of big scale, that's where it really hits the sweet spot. However, if you've got fairly small workloads or you're going to start small, get big later, then this is definitely the right way to go. So there's no definite right or wrong answer, you just need to know what it is that you're trying to get out of it and then choose the appropriate technology based on that.